<laughs> you know, I can't, um, I can't, you know, take it to him and show it to him physically. <laughs> so, anyways, it's very beautiful. <laughs> um, I, there's something about seeing, um, there's just something about seeing it in person that's like so rewarding and and you um you know as it starts going live um and out into the world and people start sharing opinions it's sometimes really hard to um remember how much love you have for your books and so you have to really remind yourself like why you wanted to write it in the first place and and how much you loved it when you were writing it and um so I'm hoping I can um continue to remember um why I loved this book as we get closer to uh <laughs> as we get closer to release day um so yeah so I am just so overwhelmed with seeing this it kind of looks tiny to me <laughs> um I've never had a situation before where I have an arc um, because I have only ever been self-published and so I usually people get their physical books before I do and so um, this is the first time I think I've gotten a physical copy before anyone else so um, yeah I, I uh, definitely a very emotional thing and I'm very 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 excited to have all this hard work in my hands. So um, I just wanted to share that with you because I I knew it was gonna be hard to do, but I love this map and in the hardcover, it is red. It, it shows it's red and it's really, really, really cool. So, um, and then the chapter art is alternating. It's different, um, it's swords and roses on, and they alternate. So, yeah, so very, um, very cool, very pretty. Uh, sorry for my very emotional, uh, outburst. I probably, uh, should not be crying because I got my lashes touched up today. <laughs> um, so this week I will be traveling. I will be in Colorado for something, some, a book thing. I can't remember. It's a long acronym. And then I'll also be at New York Comic Con. Um, so, so I am, um, yeah, I'm glad I get to, I'm, is it gonna, was it weird if I take one of these with me on the, uh, <laughs> on the plane? <laughs> Can I take it with me? <laughs> is that weird? Um, thank you guys. You're very sweet. I, uh, just, I, we're coming up on a year of, um, daddy being gone and I think it's very very difficult it's like it's you you uh <laughs> it's just hard and I you know I've never had um my daddy was my person and he really believed in me and he um you know he always believed I would be an author and like a famous author and he uh and so to <laughs> To have him, my dog is playing right now, to have him, you know, not be here to share some of this stuff with him is really difficult. And, uh, you know, and then, uh, so he passed away on November 27th and um, this book comes out on November 30th. And uh, so I'm trying to do everything I can to protect myself from negativity because I think there is a lot out there and people never really consider what people are going through when they say things or tag you and stuff. And so, um, so I'm just right now taking a lot of measures to try and protect myself because, uh, yeah, it's been very difficult for me the last few um few weeks and it's getting worse and I think that that's sort of the um that is something to be mindful of and you know to always to to always go into it taking care of yourself so I'm definitely trying to um make sure I don't <laughs> you know <laughs> have a mental breakdown <laughs> it would be really nice um but seeing this is very rewarding because we worked really hard on this and uh you know we worked really hard on this. 
I can't wait to share it with you guys. I hope you love it. I started writing when I was 13. I, I talked today a little bit about it, but um, when I was 13, I started writing and my first novel was this high fantasy about elves and magic. And um, I really loved elves because of the Lord, the Lord of the Rings. And so I was like, I want to write a book all about elves. And and then my second book was a book about vampires. <laughs> and um, I thought it would never... She's barking at a truck. Come here. Hey. Hey. I thought I would never be able to write high fantasy or vampires because... You know, like everyone started to hate on Twilight because it's popular to hate the thing that's popular, which is stupid. Uh, but I did it and I thought I would not shut. Hey, 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 we do not do that. You only do that when I'm on a live. It's true. Um, hey, we are going to fight. Uh, so I just never really thought that I would be able to do this and I didn't think I would be able to do both things, but I get to do it and I'm very, very thankful. And um, I think if anyone is really interested in doing this full time, you have to really <laughs> know yourself pretty well. And um, she is, she wants attention. She hears a truck outside. But every time I go on a live or a Zoom, she t decides it's playtime, and I she never plays outside of that. Um, but if you want to be a full-time author, I think that you, like, it's, first of all, it's never giving up, but you also have to understand that the more attention you get, the more people will hate you for no reason. And they may not hate you. I think they probably hate your success, and they don't, if they don't like your book, they don't understand how you got here. It's not for them to understand. And I think that it becomes popular. If you feel like something gets too hyped, it becomes popular to hate on that thing. So if you are going to do this, just know that that, is the, that will be your constant. That is one of your constants, just as the positive things and the love. One of your constants is that people will dislike you for no reason. And they will hate read your book for no reason, other than I think they're miserable. Uh, but I think we have to remember, <laughs> that people are people, and people behind books are people, and a lot of us have been through some stuff, we all have been, with COVID, and, um, just been thinking a lot about how traumatizing COVID was, and everyone has different reactions, and they've become different people. And uh, it just blows my mind that we want to still sit behind computers and um, be mean instead of helping people out of this trauma. <laughs> we want to hurt them further. And you never know what is going to trigger someone. So you have to be very careful with your words and people aren't. And uh, I just want to caution my readers to be kind to other people and to really think before you speak because you know how impactful words can be. You've read mine. So I just want to share that. Um, because it is, it's a very hard thing. And, uh, you know, I don't have my person here <laughs> that I used to go to when I felt sad. <laughs> so I have been learning how to handle, like, that sadness and it's very difficult so um I just think you have to we have to all start being way more mindful of the things that people say and I will do what it takes to keep myself safe um so I think that you guys um if I decide at some point that it means not being on Instagram as much that's what it is that's what it is um, hi. You want to say hi? This is Adelaide. Okay. 
she is not reacting to my sadness. She is just being, um, <laughs> she's just being Addy. <laughs> so, and you know, I will say like the majority of people are very kind, but I just think that some people are very, um, I just, I feel for people who, um, who's, who dedicate their time to very, very mean things. Uh, so I've gotten some questions, um, about, <laughs> sorry, it's gross. Um, I got some questions about the special editions. The Barnes and Noble special edition has a bonus chapter. It also has, um, a map. I think it's black and white map. I think all the versions have a map, but the Barnes and Noble special edition is trade paperback with a bonus chapter. And then the hardback has a map that's red and it has a bonus scene. So a chapter is a full chapter and a um, scene is shorter <laughs> if you would like to um, know the difference, but yes. Um, and then I will, yes, I uh, will be signing at NYCC, which is, it's okay, we'll, we'll go out sign soon. At New York Comic Con, I don't remember the time. It's right after a panel that I am on, but, um, and then the bookish box, I'm actually like, the only association I have with the box, the bookish box is that they create the special editions, but I don't have any like, that's the only thing, like they just give me updates on their stuff. So I know that the A Touch of Darkness and A Game of Fate editions are on a ship and they are waiting to be un unloaded. And they are hopeful that the KBB box will be, um, it's shipping soon. So they're hoping that by the time it's supposed to go out in December, it'll be off the ship. But again, I'll say that that whole reason of the books being at port and staying on the ship is why it's important to pre-order books now because once that print run is done, it's probably going to be harder for you to get those books. There are a lot of books that are doing really well that did do really well in their first print run and they ran out and now it's really hard to get those books. So it's uh, very important that you do that. The bookish box is only getting a bonus scene. They are not getting a bonus chapter because I did not have time to do anything extra. So, um, but it's beautiful art, beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, it's some of my favorite fan art. I call it fan art, but it's some of my favorite art of Adrian and Isolde. It's beautiful. And um, and the interior cover is just, is just really, really cool. There isn't a KBB box per se, it's a subscription. It's the adult subscription for December and it's kind of a mess. Uh, I say that kindly it's um it just it's they've gotten a lot of emails about switching subscriptions and stuff so i do know that um um i have eyeliner after i cry because it's tattooed on my face <laughs> so uh that's why <laughs> uh someone said why is your eyeliner so like perfect all the time and i'm like well it's tattooed um so yeah so king of battle and blood I love it. Um, I'm just going to say this as a PSA because it bothers me a lot, but um, I have not read from Blood and Ash. And um, I knew there would be comparisons because vampires, but I'm just going to say that no one owns vampires. No one owns witches. No one owns the word red. And um, so yeah, so we can all write about mythological creatures. And there are so many that there are only so many that we can actually write about. Um, so this is kind of why I stay away from reading especially popular things because uh, I don't want this to happen. Like I would prefer to, you know, not be accused of writing fan fiction. <laughs> so uh, I don't, I haven't read from Blood and Ash. Um, this cover, I've seen people say that this cover is like from Blood and Ash. The only thing that my cover designer and I agreed on was that uh, I wanted the colors red, gold, and black. And this is the result. And I didn't even think about from Blood and Ash when I got it. I loved it completely. Um, so I just think that, I know I'm speaking to the, I'm just preaching to a choir of people who support and love me. Um, so, you know, but I just have to say, like, 
if you are reading my book with the intention of trying to figure out like what I took from other books, uh, you're probably going to find things just because you're looking for shit. Like, so um, maybe don't do that and, you know, take it as its own thing. I don't know. I just, that's really, that really um, upset me because I worked really hard and I, to just have someone reduce my books to, from Blood and Ash fan fiction is really fucking painful and like, not, I guess it's not painful, but it's also just like, it's so, it so minimizes the work that I put into this book. So I just want to say <laughs> that just because I wrote about vampires does not mean that I, I don't know, like we all took from the same fucking myth. So it's just, it's the same with, it's the same with the Greek mythology. People will say sometimes like, oh, this is like Lore Olympus. And I'm sorry, but yeah, it, it, we all took from the same fucking myth. Like there was a comment about Apollo one time, Apollo and, and I think Lore Olympus is Violet, I think. Uh, and then Apollo in my books is Violet Eyes, but that's taken from mythology. Violet is an important color to Apollo. So it's just coincidence. Someone once said, there's, they somewhat, people will always find connections because we all just reinvent things all the time because we're authors. So um, after that fiasco, I am just trying to keep my bubble very safe and um, definitely like put some measures in place to ensure that I don't see things. So, um, this is a back black fireplace with um, purple marble. It's completely, um, and that's, this is a picture of Aphrodite and her birth. So, cause I'm extra. Um, sorry, this is a little melancholy, but I uh, just, I'm having a hard week. And uh, today was a hard day. I just really missed my dad. And I knew this was gonna be hard because, um, because I want to show it to him so badly and uh you know so um yeah so I see some people asking about chapter three it does come out October 30th and then you'll have to wait uh for the book to release on November 30th just make sure you check some dates if you do pre-order KBB make sure you submit for the pre-order incentive if you are international you'll have to go through Bank Square Books um I don't know if I missed I don't I think I think I got everything um, so, <laughs> hey Sabrina, <laughs> I'm having a hard day. The other thing that has made it really hard is that my carpal tunnel is inflamed and, um, so in this hand, so it's, I can't, um, really lift much and I can't grip things and, uh, I really need it to go away so I can deal with my grief through writing. <laughs> um, so it's been, it's been really difficult. Um, I feel weird about saving this one, but what do you guys think? Uh, I'll let you decide. <laughs> it had a lot of weirdness in it, like me crying and my dog. <laughs> but I mean, why else do you come to Instagram other than to see my dog, right? <laughs> um, and this is my new, I'm going to try and film in front of this background, my back, uh, my fireplace. So, um, I can do more makeup tutorials because you guys know I do love makeup so um <laughs> I'm I am human I try to remind um people that I am human all the time and uh I think people forget <laughs> um so I'm not going to do surgery yet on my carpal tunnel um because this is actually the first bad flare-up I've had and um and i had a really great massage yesterday in my shoulder my elbow and my forearm and it did really help so i'm just gonna do a few more i'm gonna do um those massages about three times a week and see if we can get the inflammation to go down and i've been icing it and um so i won't be doing surgery just yet um but i will keep you guys updated obviously in the meantime <laughs> A look into dragon because I think I might benefit from doing a little bit of um, 
a little bit of dictation. So, okay, well, I'm going to take my dog out. I will save this for you guys so you can see um, the physical copies of KBB. There is no chance for a surprise early release of KBB at all because I am traditionally published now. So yeah, so don't have that option, but uh, I do appreciate that you guys want that. So, um, all right, well, um, I will save this for you all and uh, I'm gonna go take my dog out and I'll be traveling tomorrow. So um, send me good, vi good vibes. I want all the plane rides to be really chill. <laughs> Bye y'all, thank you for listening.